Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today, I'm gonna be telling you all 50 things you can do over the summer because I'm almost on break. If you haven't seen my last video yet, I am coming off on Regents Week and only have three days left. So, if you're wondering, this video was inspired by Ava Grace, her channel's right there, and you should go check out her video. The link will be down below. You should also like her video because she's super cool and her video's just awesome. So, also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and push notifications. Also, if you're wondering, I think I'm gonna start making an editing schedule, not like a posting schedule. So, if I can figure this out, there's gonna be a poll right there and so answer which day would be best for you for me to post. Okay, and so until then, let's get on to the ideas. You can watch a firework show. Those are super exciting and I love them. Take a road trip. Those are always fun, too. You could go anywhere you want. Visit a local landmark. Take up a new class. Look in your area and try to find something. If you're in um, honors or IB, I'm personally in IB, so I do have summer homework, but you could do your homework for summer and be a good student. I don't know. Uh, no one wants to know this one, but you could get a job. I'm gonna be a lifeguard, maybe. I'm, um, getting my interview, so save my soul and pray that I get this. So, yeah. Make food, because we all know everybody likes eating. I could eat all day if I wanted to. Go to a local pool and swim. If you have access, take a boat ride. I mean, why not? They're always fun, I guess. I mean, tie-dye anything. You could tie-dye hairbands, not hairbands, headbands, sorry. Um, learn a new makeup look. Go for a walk. Don't be lazy, have fun. Get in contact with an old friend of yours. I'm personally doing this right now and it's gonna be super exciting because the day break comes out, she's gonna be here. It's gonna be so much fun. So maybe expect a vlog. Um, tell me if you want, if you want it. I mean, I don't have to if you guys don't wanna see a vlog, <laughs> I mean. Go to a theme park. Um, I live near a great escape, so I can go there, <laughs> I mean. Start a garden, take care of some plants. It'll teach you responsibility, I promise, and you won't kill any plants if you try hard enough. Go for a hike. I live in a very mountainous. I'm sorry, Megan. We all know you say it, mountain. Um, I live in a mountainous area and I can go hiking whenever I want and it's actually super fun. Plus, I get some pretty cute Instagram pictures from it. Go cliff jumping. Um, make sure you're allowed to first. Don't hurt yourselves, please. And if you do, you did not come from my video. Go watch more people's summer ideas videos. Remember, there's Ava Grace's video. She's a queen. Um, and there's probably a bunch more, so go find more. This one's kind of dumb because I fell out of a tree here. A picture of it. Um, but basically, climb a tree. I mean, why not? You could also watch aesthetic summer movies such as Call Me By Your Name and Paper Towns. A Paper Towns is in a summer movie, but it's still good and it'll make you want to have an aesthetic summer. Take cute Polaroids. 
They're so much fun and you can hang them on your plan wall. That's probably what I'm gonna do unless I find some cute posters to put up because my wall's not doing too hot right now. <laughs> Redo your Instagram feed. Um, my Instagram right now only has like two posts on it, but remember to go follow it because I would love to get to know you guys better. So feel free to even like just DM me and get to know me because I love you guys. Practice painting. There's so many different tutorials out there. Like my friend literally did a Bob Ross painting and it was so cute. So just do it. Write a book. I mean, I have a whole notebook full of half written books that will never ever be published. Um, hang out with your family. They probably want to spend time with you, so just do it. <sighs> Host a sleepover with your friends. I love them, and you'll definitely be entertained. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Pull an all-nighter. Be careful, though, because... These are not always good if you have to wake up in the morning. I remember once I pulled an all-nighter and had to wake up at five in the morning and it was not fun. Make a YouTube channel of your own. Go on a water slide. If you have enough time, memorize a whole musical. I have Hamilton memorized. Go fishing. I personally don't like fishing, but my family does. So if your family does, Take up painting like I said before. You can paint near the lake while they go fishing. Go running. I mean, that's coming from a cross country track ski person, but it'll be fun. I can promise you that. <laughs> go to a fair. I don't know if you guys have those where you live, but we have a lot of them. We have, um, I don't know maybe like five a year. Those are mostly in later summer, but there might be some in the earlier summer days. I don't, I don't know. I just know there's a lot nearby. Give your siblings a makeover. Like, let's be real, it's so exciting to put makeup on them because you could potentially <laughs> give them the worst makeup look ever. <laughs> and it's always fun to do. Go to a playground. I mean, I've seen multiple pictures where people photograph themselves on basketball hoops. I wish I was brave enough to climb up there. You might be. So go get those cute Instagram pictures. Visit a huge city. I personally only live a few hours away from New York City, so I can go visit that anytime. And it's actually super cool to go watch a musical and like visit all the huge attractions. Ugh. It died there, sorry. Um, you could redecorate your room. That's always exciting. And clearly I have a habit of redecorating or changing or just doing some crazy thing with my room. Go shopping, you can literally go shopping anywhere. There's malls where you can find like <laughs> Gucci if you're into it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's at malls near other people. I just know that they have stores like that in the city. Um, and you could also go thrift shopping. That's always a lot of fun. You could also watch a Broadway show. They have them online and they also have them in person if you want to go to the city. You could learn a new language. Me and my friend Jeremy are currently learning Russian. Um, it's an inside joke though, I mean, yeah, we're learning Russian, I don't know. A babysitter because it's fun based off what I know. I mean, I've only babysat a few kids, so. Work out, literally just go to a gym and have fun. I mean, it is a lot of fun if you do it. Go camping. Camping is literally the funnest thing I've ever done. 
and it's just so exciting. You can literally have a campfire and roast marshmallows and put those little hot dogs on sticks and stick them in the fire. Eat some fruit because personally, I only feel tempted to eat fruit in the summer. Go for a car ride. This kind of associates with go for a road trip, but not really because car rides are different from road trips. I don't know. It's, it's a shorter distance. Drive around your town, look for something to do. Get to know your neighbors. I personally have a lot of neighbors and I don't know any of them. So I'm planning on talking to them over the summer. Let's hope they're nice. <laughs> Go online and look at your local events. That's what phones are for. You can literally go out and just see all this fun stuff you can do. I mean, it's so exciting, guys. And I found so many exciting things I can do. So, do it. Do it. <sighs> I live near a huge lake, so you could go to a lake if you wanted. Have a point or idea or something have a campfire it's fun and you can have it in your own backyard if you're allowed to and finally <laughs> this is the dumbest one I'm sorry but watch and like my videos because I just want to make you guys happy and I just enjoy making these videos so yeah like and subscribe to me watch my videos And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing summer, and like I said before, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on push notifications, and remember to do the same for Ava Grace. Bye guys!